What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the nice to here with our AP Low Tier Week 6 matchup. Going against Cody. And I actually forgot his team name, and I very much apologize. But we're going against Cody. This is a very big win for us. For one, I'm 3 and 5. He is, I think, some. I think he's like. He's like two ranks above me. I think he's like four and one, maybe. I don't know. But this is a very big matchup for us. We pick up a big win right here. We only need two wins to solidify playoffs. Lose this matchup. We're going to be in a bit of a tough situation going for the rest of the season. But hopefully we can be able to persevere and be able to win. If you guys are excited, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe if you are new. Join the Full Shocker crew today because you'll be feeling with the king of the crew. And with that being said, let's go ahead and actually let me just double check. My stuff here, water bubble, hustle, technician, and I'm burdened. Did I really want to run? I think I did want to run on burden. All right. We are good to go, and I keep forgetting to do this, so I apologize. So, with that being said, let's challenge Cody, man. This is a very. <sighs> Right. Good luck. Have fun. He did bring Punch Crow, which was something I was maybe expecting him to bring. He did not bring Gyler Stun Fist, so that's pretty good. So no Stun Fist. What am I doing? Um, but we see the Haunch Crow, and he he didn't bring Pyroar. What? Instead, brings Reggie Rock. Wow, I was actually surprised about that. So, actually, bro, I kind of just win with perfume. Okay, so that opens up a lot of doors. Geico is not as good now, which is fine. My hunter looks really, really good. Skazer looks really nice. And Chainsaw looks really good here. So what I think he's going to lead here with. I can see him being the Spirit Tomb to burn me. I can also see him maybe leading off with the Reggie Rock. I think I'm going to lead with Hunter. I think Hunter's not a really bad lead here. As Honestro is the one that comes out. Okay, so that's not good. Man, I should have went with my Gunwit Perfume there. So he's going to look like Brave Bird here. 100%. Brave Bird does kill. If I had led with Aromatisse... Ooh, why does this thing do so much? Um... Drapion, that doesn't do anything, dude. That sucks. This thing is gonna get a kill. So what do I do here? Do I sack Geico? I do think I sack Geico because Geico doesn't do anything else for me. He's just gonna click Brave Bird. Yeah, he's gonna get a Moxie boost. As he is. I'm gonna assume he's Choice Scarf right now. I'm gonna ride into. So he should know that the first impression's coming. He should know that I'm gonna click first impression. And honestly. Besides Regirock, nothing really wants to make a first impression. So I'm just going to click first impression. Vaporeon has the Rocky Helmet. I'm going to go into Perfume here. So he does know I'm Choice Banded. I would have loved to have clicked X Scissor there. He's gonna flip turn actually. Interesting. That's really interesting. He just clicked flip turn. So he's gonna go into Reggie Rock. 94. 94. So we speed tie. I think I just clicked Trick Room here. 
But he's going to set up his Stealth Rocks, which is fine with me. So I get a free Nasty Plot here. So he was faster than me. And he's going to Toxic me here. So let me look at Regirock here. Regirock... Aromatisse. Plus two. Energy Ball has a strong chance to kill here. I think I'm going to go for the Energy Ball kill here. We don't get it. As he's going to Rock Slide me here. Do a good chunk. I am now just going to click Moonblast. And Regirock's going to go down. So Regirock goes down. Now Vaporeon. I think he's going to click Protect right here. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to just click Moonblast. As he does. So... I'm going to click Moonblast here now. Because what he's going to probably do here is either go for the double protect, flip turn, or go for a wish. And what I do is just sack off Aromatisse. He scalds me. And we get rid of Vaporeon. Nice! So that's going to go double down. So now we got to be a little careful here. So Vaporeon goes down. So great job, Aromatisse. Really great job. So I think we can pretty much win this with Squeaks here. I think I just have to go Chainsaw. This Chainsaw either gets a free kill or he gets to do something here. And again, depending on what he goes into, will depend my play. Skazar still looks really good here. I can still take one hit with Skazar. But Perfume put in the work, dude. Perfume got rid of his Bolt, which is really, really good. And what's also really good now is I can just spam X Scissor. I don't have to worry about stressing about clicking um, the one move, uh, first impression all the time. I don't have to press about clicking Iron Head, so that's really good there. So he goes into Spirit Tomb here. Now, is it in my best interest to kill Spirit Tomb? Spirit Tomb. Let's just say a choice band set. Durant. We do have a chance to kill him right here. I'm going to go into Squeaks here, I think. As I predict the Will O Wisp, he protects it, actually. That's fine with me. So I got a free Nasty plot up here. So he has Protect, so that's very good information to know right there. So to make note, Spirit Tomb has Protect. We saw Brave Bird. He's going to Toxic me, which is a little unfortunate here. So now Spirit Tomb against my Persian. What do we do here? I am now plus two. I don't really do anything to him, so I'm gonna have to probably go for the nasty plot again here. So he's gonna protect again. So I get another plus two, which is fine fine by me. So he's a toxic stall set, which is unfortunate. So he's tox so he's toxic protect. And I think I go for the Water Pulse here. Which does 2 AKO. He's going to Pain Split, which is not going to help him. He's going to Toxic... He's just going to keep stock Toxic stalling me. And Pain Split. Pain Split. Water Pulse there again. And now he's just going to click Protect here. Yep. 
what I do now is I go right into Skazar. And what I think I do here is I just click knock off here. Alright, that's good. So Flygon loses his item, which is the leftovers. I think I go right into Hunter here. He's gonna Earthquake here. And what I'm gonna do here... I think in all honesty, I'm gonna sub. Oh! The dual wing beat. Oh! I didn't even think... I didn't even know he got that. Oh, and it actually didn't break the sub. Oh, thank God. So that goes liquidation. Oh, that's huge right there. So he's just gonna go Honchkrow here. I'm gonna let him kill Honch. I'm gonna let him kill. But now I go Durant here. I click first impression. The Spirit Tomb's gonna go down. Actually, I should have probably predicted that, actually. Shoot. I should have predicted that. I should have predicted that. So he's going to close combat me. I don't think I'm faster. 295. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go for the poison jab here. Off chance. Okay, he's going to close combat me here. Now, if he's scarfed, he's scarfed. He's, scar he's got to be scarfed, Moxie. 295. Do I take the minus one diff or do I try to kill him here? I think he's scarfed. Yeah, I think he's scarfed. Well, let's look, let's look at the damage right here. To Drapion. Drapion versus... Um... Heracross. Scarf Moxie set. Close combat did 57 to 67%. No, I think he's banded. 71. I was at 88. Yeah, I think he's banded. No, he's not banded. Then how do you do that? Is he adamant scarfed? I think he's adamant. Yeah, I think he's adamant. Which means if he's adamant scarfed... Versus Durant. I think he wins this game. Medicham. Let me just look at something here. Medicham. If we were Jolly Max Speed. We have a choice scarfed. Caps up. Yeah, I think he's got this game. So, I either click first impression here. See, here's the thing. He's Scarf Moxie, which I believe he is. He kills me. The play is like we've been playing we've been choice banded. I think he realizes we're choice banded. Do I risk it? Or do I go for the kill? We risk it. Damn it! Ugh, GG. Oh god. Mm. I should have went for the diff. I think definitely not going for X Scissor on him when we had the opportunity to on Spirit Tomb. Messed us up there um, because he got a free close combat off off on us.
me not going for the KO on maybe the KO on I don't know. We should have maybe played around that a little bit better. I think the first impression play was not the wrong play right there against Aporion. I think I mean I don't even know if that first impression play on that even mattered either, so I mean he I I think he was dual scarfed. I honestly, oh man, that lead matchup, dude. That lead matchup just really put us way behind. That lead matchup really just put us way behind. I think maybe we should not have brought Sceptile. And then maybe what we should have done is we should have changed the item on Sceptile to where he was uh, the Koba Berry. And we should have been able to just accept an SD and then we could have just probably had won. Well, not won, but we would have braked. Yeah, I think definitely not having that cost us too, man. So I'm not too mad about this. I a little mad at myself. I didn't get differential down, and I could have gotten Duran an extra kill. But it is what it is. We're just gonna have to go with it, man, and uh, move on from that. But yeah, GG's to Cody. I mean, brought a little bit of a toxic stall with his spirit tomb, which I actually was not expecting a toxic stall spirit tomb. But I mean, he had to do it to stop Persian because Persian really didn't. But in the end of the day, his team was scarred. I should have probably predicted that. I probably should have went into Durant instead of letting as soon as he toxic me. And I should have went into Durant and I should have either clicked first oppression or I should have clicked X Scissor. And I could have two AKO'd if that would be one shot of the Spirit Tomb. And then I could have just spammed X Scissor against his team. So yeah, I definitely regret not going for that play. That play definitely probably was a bit of a mistake. Or even clicking Iron Head. I think Iron Head also was really good for the flinch chances. And it would have been able to stop the um fly icon. So I think definitely regretting not to click Iron Head or Switch there. Because what would have happened then is if for some like say he's not Moxie, he brings us in. I can live one hit, and if I get a nasty plot off or something like that, I can go some big damage. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So we fall 2-0, which I think is only going to keep us in positive differential. But that makes us go three and three, which means next week is a big winner, you know, because I actually had to find out that my opponent is also three and three. So whoever wins that game has a good shot to still make the playoffs. The loser of this game. Definitely is going to have a harder time to potentially make the playoffs. So definitely going to be a tough match, tough match, tough game going ahead forward. But who knows? But